This is CS Trades 101, the Wolf Pack. How's everybody doing today? So I wanted to get into some documentation that just I just came across here, just got sent to me here. So um, <clears throat> the big question is that uh, a lot of people are wondering is why are these EMC officials selling? So I got some um, documentation here and when I talk about this stuff, I like to have um, the correct information in front of me so I can disclose it to to you guys okay I don't like talking about stuff about official documents without having it to show um, sometimes in rare in rarity that we can't do that but most of the time I can so I usually don't like to disclose some documents but these ones I'm gonna share with you um, usually this is done on our private server um, but I will be talking about this today um, on our meeting at 2.30 on our VIP server, which is members only. And you can do that. You can join on that on our header on our channel under join on the cheapest package. So I just want to get that out of the way. So AMC staff, insider trading. Okay. As of the 9th, <clears throat> that would have been a couple days ago. It's the 12th right now. So it takes a couple days. They have to propose this stuff and it is done. Um, after hours okay it's not done in open market so I just want to go through um, Ellis Daniel E which is uh, chief op um, of AMC uh, is a staff member okay he sold some shares and this is what this is what I would wanted to talk to you about they're selling at these low prices okay they had an opportunity to sell it at, the, at, at at, at some huge numbers okay and potentially make hundreds and hundreds more percent um, I wanted to go through a couple a couple of them have dumped all their shares they own nothing left see this has to be reported to the SEC um, on official documentation they do have a um, they can't just get and sell shares like we do okay there's brokers that deal with this stuff for them and that is the SEC and they have to be officially signed off by um, a government official that has authority to do that so they have to propose it like I said before and whatever shares they have left over are logged okay it's um, it's for tax purposes and for transparency okay just to, to stop an entity of fraud which we know that it does happen across the market but this is what they've done to try to, to minimize it okay with insider trading okay so we're gonna get in um, the, the ones are Stephen a Kevin M and Ellis uh, Daniel E okay so we're gonna start on the top or we're gonna start on this one document here okay sorry about the bright light there so uh, Daniel E okay it's a common a stock okay the look at I'll show you the, the the earliest that he could sell it was the 9th of 2022 okay so they have to be proposed that doesn't mean that uh, see he can't this was sold on yesterday See, remember I said the 9th, 10th, 11th. See, it has to be two days. So it didn't go through. A th attorney, in fact, has to sign this. Okay, the date it was signed was on the 11th. See, there's a lot of incorrect information going around about this. Um, on on our channel, we we try to really stick to the, to the correct information and the laws that back it. Okay, so I just want to be very clear on that. Okay, so what he has had is 50,000 shares. Okay, D means deposit. There's codes for all this stuff. So D means deposit into his trading account through the SEC. Okay, that's how it is. It doesn't go any other way. At fifteen dollars and fifty-eight cents, um, he has um, three thousand nine hundred and fifty-three shares. Okay, that's what he has left. So he still does still have some shares for sale. Okay, so we're gonna get on to the next one here, and this is a, an official form. Uh, form four and um, the number is three uh, this is the number if you want to back check it, it is three two three five dash zero two eight seven okay Kevin Connor M so this is um he had to mount 50,000 shares for uh, 4,500 left over he sold this is the s for the code for sell and it was deposited into his uh, traders account with the SEC it was documented okay the eighth is the earliest he can sell it, but it's not signed off. It wasn't deposited and signed off by the SEC, which was the 10th. Okay, these are just these documents just got sent to me. 
So um, uh, the back check number and the form uh, four is three two three five zero two eight seven. So you can check on this guy if you want to do the back check on it. it is a common A stock, um, and he is what's his title? It is he is general counsel and secretary. Okay, so we'll get on to another one. And Stephen A. Good miss. This one here is um, common eight stock. The earliest was the ninth that they could sell. They didn't sell it to the eleventh, and it was signed off by the attorney. In fact. Okay, this person dumped all of their shares, okay? They have nothing left, 69,005 shares, zero left in their trading account. Okay, was deposited, code was SL, and that's what I wanted to, um, to get into. I'm the chief marketing officer, okay? So these are the top tier staff members, um, and I just wanted to be very clear on this. Um, there's a lot of questioning. What does this mean for AMC? Okay, well, this is what this means, that they, they, they can sell in the middle of a squeeze, but they're advised not to by their attorneys, okay? Adam Aaron has attorneys that look after everybody. It's a free of charge. It's part of their, um, it's part of their contract, okay? They're protected solely by, enter, by AMC Entertainment Holdings, lawyers and law firm. They have their own law firm, okay? They deal with everything you can think of, payroll, every type of lawsuit. These type of companies, because they rent out theaters all over, there's lawsuits always on them, okay? Um, a lot of them are, not, are paid out of pocket. Um, some of them are not disclosed unless it actually goes to court and then there's documentation with filings, okay? So we have found some stuff in the past, but a lot of it is out of court stuff and it does not make it to the, to the courts and uh, official documents to be locked, okay? So um, this person sold at $15.59. What does that say? They could have sold before um, and yes, that's true. They could have, but they are advised if you sell during a squeeze, it will expose AMC into the into the to the realm of that they are participating in a stock squeeze. That they were aware of this. That they could potentially get targeted, and they would. Um, a lot of investors, um, stockholders like myself and like you, would probably join together and do a class action or a couple class action lawsuits with a with a bunch of charges indicted into a charge and it and it, uh, uh, implemented towards them. Um, for them to get out of that would be very hard. Um, they would get sued and they would get prosecuted, okay? So, um, because it's just so vast, this um, this stock squeeze that is, um, that is uh, brewing, okay? So I just wanted to be very clear on that. Um, these are the rules and these are how, um, these people are taught, okay, and looked after by Adam Aaron. Okay, if you wanted to know more about this stuff, join us at CS Trades 101 The Wolf Pack. You guys have a great day, and this for keeping it real. Peace.